Hey everyone, welcome back to Sarah's Bean Kitchen. In today's video, I wanted to give a more realistic look at what I eat in a week. So even though I do make vegan food content for my job, I would still say that a majority of the recipes I cook are really easy, budget-friendly. We try to eat healthy most of the time. We make lots of whole foods, plant-based recipes, but we still try to maintain a balance and avoid being restrictive. So my goal with these videos is to just give you some more vegan meal inspiration, some recipe ideas that you can incorporate into your day-to-day in your kitchen. First breakfast of the video, got my Kamatira hazelnut latte, some crispy potatoes. I just cube them, I boil them until they're tender, and then I just toss them in some olive oil and some spices. I put rosemary on this time and pop them in the air fryer for like 30 minutes, just until they're like crispy and golden brown. And then in the meantime, I made a really simple tofu scramble with just like onion and garlic powder, a little bit of turmeric, some nutritional yeast. So we got a little pre-workout high carb, high protein breakfast. Okay, moving on to lunch. I had some leftover tortilla soup that Eric had made a few days back. And since I cook for my job, we pretty much always have a bunch of different, very random leftovers in our fridge. So throughout this video, anytime I don't document a meal, you can just go ahead and bet that I threw together a random plate of leftovers to eat and it probably wasn't very glamorous. But as for this vegan tortilla soup, super easy one pot healthy affordable because beans are super cheap it's kind of like all the ingredients for chili but just with more broth so onions garlic peppers we use two kinds of beans some corn some canned tomatoes and some vegan chicken style bouillon cubes then some onion and garlic powder and nutritional yeast to make it a bit more savory and then some chipotle chili powder regular chili powder cumin and once everything had a chance to simmer this step's optional but we just hit it with the immersion blender we didn't make it completely smooth we left it a little bit chunky but blending a portion of the soup just makes it a bit creamier we also made our own tortilla strips, just brushing some corn tortillas with a little bit of olive oil, sprinkling them with salt, slicing them into strips, and then popping them in our air fryer until they were crispy. You will see that we're big fans of just easy vegan meals that involve putting a lot of different kinds of veggies in a pot. We make a lot of soups and stews. And recipes with beans are a big staple for us, so we can get in protein without spending a lot of money on vegan meat substitutes. So yeah, we had leftovers of this tortilla soup, and then let's go back to present day. We're gonna have a nice, cozy, easy, one-pot dinner tonight. I just prepped everything. It's essentially gonna be vegan chicken noodle soup. So I have celery, carrots, onion, lots and lots of garlic, and I'm not gonna add in any vegan chicken, but I do have a can of chickpeas, and I think I'm gonna puree these and add them in just to kind of sneak in some extra protein and make the broth like a little bit creamy. Then I have these really cute little pasta stars that I'm gonna add in. Can't remember if I said this was gonna be a one pot recipe, but if I did, I lied. We're gonna have leftovers I just realized and I don't like my pasta to get soggy in the soup. So I'm gonna cook the pasta separately. Quick pause to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Cometeer. We're obsessed with Cometeer in this household. If you haven't heard of them, they are an innovative new way to enjoy coffee. They brew coffee and then they flash freeze it at peak freshness and flavor. And it comes to you in these aluminum capsules that you can melt and make any of your favorite coffee beverages. Here's my little morning Cometeer routine. I get out of bed, I turn on the hot water boiler, I select my capsule of choice, and then I basically just melt it a tiny little bit so it's loose in there. And then once it's loose enough, 
I can pour it in. Fill it up with boiling water until the eight ounce mark. Now it's like the perfect black coffee. Americano? Americano, that's right. I've been using pumpkin spice creamer since like the beginning of September <laughs> because I'm just really excited. It's like nice and cool here now in the morning and I'm still not sick of it. I add a not so conservative amount of this because I like it to taste sugary. <laughs> and I just give it a stir and that's it. That's Eric's morning cometeer. And now here's a recreation of me contemplatively looking out the window during my morning coffee. Another cool thing is that these capsules are aluminum and you can just throw them in your regular curbside recycling. How was yours? It never gets old. Cometeer partners with roasters all across the world and you always get new different kinds of blends to try out in your box each month. My favorite recently has been the Morning Blend by Birch. It says it's a medium roast, very full bodied and it has notes of caramel, cola and baker's chocolate, which, and I like that kind of like dessert flavor. Me too. If you're interested in trying out Cometeer for yourself, we have a deal for you. Right now Cometeer is offering $20 off each of your first two orders, which is $40 total. Just use our code vegan at the link cometeer.com slash Sarah vegan K. We'll have it down below in the description box. Enjoy. Our spice drawer broke. So all of our spices are, our kitchen was so clean like 20 minutes ago. We have a bunch of leftover rice. I always make a huge batch of rice so I can fry it, fry the leftovers. So I literally just put it in with some vegetable oil, scallions, garlic powder, salt, black and white pepper, soy sauce at the end once it was a little crispy. This is just a block of silken tofu that I broke up. I put a tiny bit of butter in it, oyster sauce, well, vegan oyster sauce, the garlic chili sauce, the sambal. Oh, a touch of the toasted sesame oil. Nice. And that's it. It smells really good. Ooh, do you see the crispiness? So quite often when we have multiple like dishes, we just put each one in its own bowl and we just <laughs> trade off. My grandparents always make fun of us for sharing everything. Can't you two eat your own food? And we're like, no. <laughs> Did you say you ended up putting in the black garlic? No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. I, I asked if I should use the black garlic and then I immediately forgot and put garlic powder in. You guys, we have some black garlic we got from Trader Joe's. We just don't know what to use it in. If you have any recommendations, let us know. I love fried rice. Do I please the wife? Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're not married. I know the comments are gonna be like, did you guys get married? No, not yet. That is good. <laughs> okay, this is like a soy sesame silken tofu situation. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. <laughs> Me looking at you like, do you brew? Do you like it? This is your sign to go buy some silken tofu. It's so good. Originally I was going for what you do sometimes, a silken tofu scramble, mm -hmm. you know, and it gets like kind of like crispy on the outside. Yeah, you have to cook it a long time. To yeah, I wasn't about to wait, so I just turned it into a, <laughs> just turned it it's into like soup. Soy porridge. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Apparently I'm just cooking all day. I'm just in charge of food. All right, I'm making some sandwiches. We went for a nice little walk in the park and we went, to, we went to a new grocery store that we hadn't gone to yet here. They had this fresh ciabatta that just really spoke to Sarah. It smells so good and so fresh. So I'm making two big ass sandwiches. Mayo and Dijon tofurkey slices, two varieties. Mature cheddar slices, thinly slice some of this onion, and then we have this leftover kale and arugula salad that Sarah made yesterday. It's got like a orange vinaigrette on there. And I'm just gonna put that on top. Sliced hot cherry peppers. These are like my dad's favorite sandwich addition. Oh. Sarah wanted pepperoncinis, mm -hmm. and these are a little hotter, so I was like- Pepperoncinis already plural. Is it? Yeah, pepperoncini. <sighs> <laughs> I get it. <laughs> I also got a few other random things. We've been making pumpkin spice lattes, so we picked up some coconut ready whip. This store had like every flavor imaginable of bitchin' sauce, so we got a new one. We got the roasted green chili and pepita which we've never tried before. Mm. Leave a comment down below, what's the best flavor? What should we try next? Some locally made tofu, made in Portland. Is this gonna be the best sandwich anyone's ever had? Stay tuned to find out. Doesn't it feel like we need to like wrap them in parchment? Like, or in wax paper? And like cut them? Like it's a sandwich shop? Mm. The bread is so squishy and dripping. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Mm -hmm. It's really good. I gotta learn how to make ciabatta. The salad that you made on here instead of lettuce mm -hmm. makes it 
like so much more flavorful. Is there mayo all over my face? Mm -hmm. Okay, it was at this moment while editing that I realized that I also had mayo on my face and Eric totally did not have my back here, did not reciprocate. Thank you. It's covered in sandwich. Dinner was an eat up all of our leftovers kind of vibe. We finished up that kale and arugula salad. I had some roasted tomato and red pepper pasta leftovers and the last of the supa toscana that we made for the blog. And then I also just thinly sliced and pan fried that tofu we had bought earlier in the day to add some extra protein to the meal. Right now I'm just about to roast some veggies. In the last video we made a butternut squash curry and I have half of the butternut squash left over from that. So I'm gonna roast it along with some cauliflower. I think I'm just gonna put onion and garlic and then I have this buffalo seasoning by Noble Maid. Got this at Sprouts before we moved. There's no Sprouts here in Washington we learned after we got here. Roasted veggies are a definite staple for us, especially roasted cauliflower and cabbage. For dinner, we really did not feel like cooking or making a big mess in the kitchen that we have to clean up. So for nights like these, we always have jarred pasta sauce in our pantry and pretty much the only brand we buy is Rayo's. It is a little pricier than other brands, but we do think it's worth it. We usually get it at Target. It costs a little bit less there. And our favorite is the Arrabbiata, which is actually pretty decently spicy. We're also trying out this Barilla gluten-free pasta, which is corn-based, I believe, and it's okay, but the Jovial brown rice pasta is still our favorite. Eric also chopped up some broccoli and tossed it with olive oil and some spices, and we air fried it to let it get kind of crispy. And we had picked up some of the plant-based meatballs from Ikea, which we really ended up liking. And that was just our super lazy vegan weeknight dinner with a decent amount of protein from the meatballs. So it's Saturday, Eric's gonna make some chili and I'm gonna film it for reels. So instead of filming it in the kitchen, which is kind of dark right now, we're gonna try filming it in our living room. Prepped all the ingredients. Jasmine and Chris from Sweet Simple Vegan are coming over. The Mets are playing a playoff game today. I am very nervous and anxious. Emotions have been running high. Sarah told me that if the Mets lose, I still have to be a good host and a nice friend to our friends and I can't just get really grumpy. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. Uh, so I'm making chili for everyone and I'm being very, very cautious of how spicy I make it mm -hmm. because not everyone's a freak like me. So if you want the recipe for the chili, follow us on Instagram or TikTok and you can see Eric's reel when it goes live. We'll give you a little ingredients rundown right now. So I'm doing a purely veggie chili. Sometimes I'll do like beefless crumbles in there so I think like once I did like just impossible and beans, you know, to like replicate that Hormel chili thing. Yeah. But today I'm going just straight like healthy, nutritious, like big bowl of veggies. We got mushrooms, a red bell pepper, onion, jalapeno, some chipotle peppers, you know, that come in that can with the sauce, some garlic. We have black beans, kidney beans, crushed tomatoes, diced tomatoes. I went with fire roasted for like a little extra smokiness. Uh, just some olive oil to saute some stuff. Salt, pepper, chili powder, garlic powder, and cumin. Usually I'd put like cayenne in also, but again, not too spicy, not mm -hmm. too spicy. We got some new cookware. Haraway sent some over. We got it yesterday. This is our first time Mm -hmm. using it. We're excited. It's really beautiful. It really is nice. All right, so as you can see, we got most of our ingredients in here, spices and everything. It looks and smells really good, but I got a secret ingredient. <laughs> uh, not really. I'm just gonna add some beer because I think when I started making chili when I was in college, I would just always be like drinking and watching sports and just, I would always be like, hmm, I think this is gonna be good and like pour some beer in. So that's what I do. Are you still? <laughs> it's like MTV Cribs. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yo, this is my drink fridge. <laughs> uh, so I got this IPA. I'm gonna add some in and then drink the rest of it. <laughs> All right, so this is a very, very precise measurement. That's more than I would have thought. 
I also just filmed a reel for these pumpkin chocolate chip cookies. I made these at the end of the last what I eat in a day video, but I just tested them again so I could be fully satisfied with the recipe. It's on the blog, I'll link it down below. All right, I'm moving this into the kitchen. And before I did it, I was just envisioning Kevin from the office, bringing in the chili and spilling it all over the floor. <laughs> and I was like, can't have that be happening. So the chili is simmering. I'm gonna make a really quick guacamole. We have some cilantro to chop up. We also have some of these Violife cheddar shreds. This cheese is so good. The other day I was just eating the Violife mozzarella out of the bag cold. Vegan cheese has leveled up. Uh, Jasmine and Chris are bringing cornbread. Update, they're not bringing cornbread. They couldn't find it anywhere. They were gonna bring the, uh, oh, I don't have my Mets jersey on yet. Oh, yeah. I, am I even a fan? Nope, only me. Uh, they were going to bring the Abe's brand cornbread. You know, they make all the vegan muffins and stuff. Uh, but Chris told me he couldn't find it anywhere. So they're bringing drinks, cheese and crackers, and donut holes. Ooh. It's just like. Arguably better. <laughs> I mean, I would dip a donut hole in chili. <laughs> I, have, I haven't eaten cheese out of a bag since before I was vegan. Isn't that good? It really is good. It really is good. All right, the chili is complete. We topped it with some of those Violife cheddar shreds that you just saw us eat out of the bag. Uh, some diced onion and some cilantro. And I'm really happy with it. It's spicy. I don't think it's too spicy. You wanna mm -hmm. take a bite? I'm really curious to know what you think. It's really good. You're not lying, right? Just to make me feel better. No. <laughs> it was really good. Spice level? I think your taste buds have been burned off a little bit. Yes, there are only a couple left. I think it's like two, I, that's like a two and a half out of 10 for me. I changed, so now I look like a real fan again. This video is gonna be so sad if the Mets get eliminated tonight. <laughs> they won't, they're gonna win. These White Claw flavors we got, we kept seeing them over the summer and we never tried them. Fancy. White Claw, surf. I'm gonna do watermelon. I'm gonna put this back because I don't want them, but I do want to try. I mean, it's gotta be good, right? The name like Smuckers. It's White Claw. <laughs> it's good. Mm -hmm. Also, can we just take a moment to note that somewhere in the middle of this video, I got a haircut. I don't know, like... Near the beginning of the video. Yeah, uh, Sarah did this. I think I'm getting better at, at the clippers. The clippers. Mm -hmm. You will, and you'll continue to get better because I'm gonna keep asking my haircuts. It's the following morning. We went to Seize the Bagel. They have a bunch of different vegan cream cheeses. Schmias. I got an everything bagel with the plain, I don't know if it's like tofu cream cheese. It's like the best cream it's cheese really that we've ever had out and about. Not that we get bagels that often. Yeah, because bagels aren't good anywhere other than New York. These bagels are good and the yeah. cream cheese I got a garlic bagel with veggie cream cheese. I think it's just scallions and like peppers in the cream cheese, but it's really, really good. Drinking Cometeer with some hazelnut creamer. Jasmine <laughs> and Chris left uh, some pumpkin spice donut bites. These are so good. Jasmine and Chris brought uh, two so different kinds. So much good stuff. Two different kinds of spreadable cheese, the pumpkin spice donut holes, and like a bunch of alcoholic beverages. They were like, yeah, we don't have room in the fridge, so just like take all of it. And we were, we're like, blessed. okay, thank you, thank you. Not the healthiest breakfast, but it's Sunday, it's cozy. It's healthy for the soul. You need these days it's sometimes. Mm, what are we playing? Assassin's Creed Origins. So every time fall rolls around, we get into this like video gaming, like cozy season. If it's you have fun. any video game recommendations, leave them down below. That legally belongs to me now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's my rightful property. Hmm. Mets won last night. Game three tonight. Winner go home. I'm going to win the <laughs> I just prepped all the ingredients to make broccoli cheddar soup for dinner. And I'm going to film it for the blog. And then after that, Eric has requested that I make some buffalo cauliflower wings for the game tonight. So I'm just going to do this too. Thanks. Little ingredients rundown for the soup. Potatoes, carrots, onions chopped broccoli, lots of garlic, uh, cashews to help make the soup creamy and cheesy along with nutritional yeast, and then, you know, my usual garlic, onion, some red chili flakes, should be really good.
I'm about to make some homemade chili crisp. I've made it before. I'll link the recipe I used uh, last time down below. I am tweaking the ratios a little bit this time because I want it heavier on the garlic and like the umami and a little less spicy. Here is everything for the chili garlic crisp. The other day while we were watching TV, I just sat and peeled like five heads of garlic. Last time I chopped it and this time I'm gonna try leaving them in these little medallions. Got some onion, a jalapeno. This is star anise and a cinnamon stick using chili flakes and also a little bit of gochugaru. I think I'm gonna blitz up some of these dried shiitake mushrooms just to make it a little more uh, savory. Also gonna add in a little bit of MSG and some soy sauce. And then last time I used just regular vegetable oil. This time around, I'm gonna try using peanut oil. And with our oil. have leftover broccoli cheddar soup for dinner tonight, except I made bread bowls. I'll link the recipe I used down below. I think it's from Sally's Baking Addiction and they smell so good. I just hollowed them out and I've been eating the uh, innards with BioLife butter. This was on clearance the other day at, uh, it's not King Supers here, uh, Fred Meyer. Like all the Kroger family stores always have clearance and there's always a lot of vegan products in them. So I just stocked up on a bunch of this fancy Violife butter. It tastes really good. That is it for this what I eat in a week video. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you made it to the end. I know these ones tend to be a bit on the longer side. If you try out any of the recipes or meal ideas from this video, please let me know, leave a comment down below. Or if you follow us over on Instagram, you can tag us in a story. We try our best to always respond to those. Sometimes we reshare them. We love you guys so much and we'll see you soon. Bye.